All right, in this video, we're going to go ahead and go over the installation process for Acronis Snap Deploy 5. Uh, specifically, we're going to be covering both the typical and custom installations, as well as the various requirements needed to use some of the components, such as the Pixie server, including uh, the ports and IP addresses that may be utilized. So as you can see here on our screen, we have our installer already open. Uh, I'm currently running this on a Windows 10 machine. Uh, for full system requirements, you can uh, check the Acronis website and the documentation for uh, Snap Deploy 5. We will go ahead and open this. For the most part, this whole process is going to be fairly self-explanatory. Um, it's typical, uh, as with most other installers, in the form of uh, selecting next, as well as where you want to install it. Um, but the key uh, features uh, to keep in mind when installing this is whether or not you need a typical or custom installation. The typical installation is going to, to include the uh, basic standard um, components, namely the deployment server, the management server, uh, the Pixie server, and the license server. Um, these components are each going to be uh, responsible for uh, their various own uh, features, um, the deployment server specifically, will help uh, perform a centralized deployment through the network. You've got the management console, which is going to allow you to manage uh, your um, templates, your components, your licenses. Um, the license server specifically is going to actually manage the license specifically integrated with the management server. Um, and allow you to basically control uh, how those are sent out. The Pixie server itself is going to effectively act as a sort of uh, repository um, that allows uh, network booting of machines, um, depending on the bootable media you're using, whether it's the standard Acronis uh, bootable media or the WinPE. Um, those are the primary uh, components that are installed through a typical, uh, through a typical in install. Um, you also have secondary components, which include the management agent, um, and this is what you're actually going to use to take an image of a system, as well as the wake on LAN proxy, uh, which effectively allows you to um, wake up, quote unquote, another machine um, when you need to, for instance, deploy or, or take an image of. So the screen you're on right now seeing is the custom install, uh, installation screen where you can actually select the components that you want. It will, of course, calculate the size of the, of the install um, going forward. But for our intents and purposes, we're going to do a typical installation. And from here, we're going to need to include a license key. We are going to go ahead and include our trial key that we have. You'll see here that it will automatically recognize that it is a trial license. Hit next. From here, you can select where you want to install, as well as what users it's going to, that it will have access to the program. Uh, whether this is an optional feature for uh, participating in the customer experience program. And then finally, our summary page uh, with a summary of what components are being installed. As you can see here, uh, the standard components are all being listed along with the version, um, where they're being installed as well as the total size. Uh, so what we will go ahead and do uh, from here, this will start the installation process. For the time being, I'm going to let this run in the background. And instead, we're going to move over to what I mentioned earlier, which is the uh, required uh, ports and IP addresses. Specifically, these are typically used um, through both the management console as well as the Pixie server. Um, these you need to ensure are open and usable on your uh, network in order for this the, the product to function. Um, so for instance, you can see here the UDP and TCP port 9876, um, as well as the IPv4 multicast address uh, 239.255.219.45. Uh, 
there are all of these are available on the product documentation on the main website. Um, I would highly encourage anyone who is uh, running the installer for the first time or even looking into this product to uh, review it because these will be very important uh, for you to actually utilize a lot of the functionality with it. Um, for the most part, the installer should uh, actually open these and set them up properly uh, for you. However, in the event that you have any um, special circumstances in your environment, um, such as security settings or features, you may need to actually go in and manually uh, configure these yourself. Uh, this will actually conclude the actual install portion um, of the Acronis Snap Deploy 5. Uh, and please look forward to any additional videos in the future.